Over the last half century, dating back to that last Stanley Cup win, there have been precious few moments when Maple Leafs fans never mind dared to dream, but were even inspired to dream. There were a few teases, and then there was 1993. Now that was special. There were three keys to that exciting spring run. The arrival of general manager Cliff Fletcher, the trade for Doug Gilmore, and the hiring of the coach. It was in late May of 1992 that Fletcher rocked the hockey world once again by hiring Pat Burns as the 22nd head coach in Maple Leafs history. Burns had resigned after four winning seasons and a Stanley Cup appearance with the Montreal Canadiens and was now moving west to take over the reins of a storied rival, albeit one that hadn't really come close to a cup final in 26 years. Burns gave the Leafs cachet, the first coach they had with immense swagger since Punch Imlach and that last championship team. Half Irish, half French, the new sheriff was actually an ex-cop and a heck of a coach. Everywhere he went, he made his teams better. He was a defense first type, and there were no maybes in how they played. Immediately, he transformed the Leafs. He begged his best player to be his hardest working. He would ride his captain, knowing it would move his teammates to play harder. He had the uncanny knack on any given night of knowing which players had it and which players didn't. And he had a stare that could bring grown men to their knees and then move them to greatness. He could poke and prod, he would sometimes make his players hate him to bring them together, but he always protected them, forever a cop. That first season was something special. Fletcher kept fine-tuning the roster, and Burns kept making the team better. Quietly, the Leafs climbed in the standings and finished with 99 points, an incredible 32-point improvement and a club record 44 wins. Despite that, expectations were low, and they were underdogs to open the playoffs. They lost the first two games to Detroit, and the dreams of most Leafs fans began to fade. But the team battled back, and eventually won game seven in overtime. The magic ride was on. There was another seven-game series win, this time over St. Louis, setting up a conference final with Gretzky and the LA Kings. It was an eventful series, with a fiery Burns leading the charge. But midnight struck in game seven, as a Gretzky hat trick brought the ride to an end. For a long suffering hockey town, it was the greatest spring since 1967, cup or no cup. The hard nosed Burns had returned the Leafs to respectability and earned a special place in the hearts of Leafs fans.